Hey everybody, I'm Willa from Willa Moon Mystical. And today we are going to be putting together some protection bags for my shop. So here's the sad part. I had um, a younger woman come into my shop and she um, she said, Miss Willow, she goes, I was walking by your shop and she goes, the end. She goes, energy I just felt being sent towards your shop wasn't good she got asked me if I had my store gridded and I said yes of course I've got black tourmaline and clear quartz in each of the corners and she goes well she goes when was the last time you sage and I said well I sage this morning and she says well she goes um she goes you might want to just double up on your gridding and you know um maybe sage again before you know your next business day which would have been this coming Saturday so I thought about it and I thought well you know I don't know if um, or whom could be sending ill will towards my shop but still you never can be too safe so it's always better to be safe than sorry and so I got looking back into my book of shadows at a conversation that I had just put in a couple of notes of a conversation of me and my aunt had. Now, remember, my aunt was my mentor. I lost her in September. Anyhow, she had told me about um, how someone can send enough ill will that it can form into an entity, such as, um, you know, chronic bad luck or just, you know, causing you to make poor business choices, just different things like that. And, um, you know, I've never had that happen to me, but I am going to safeguard myself from it. So I sat down and I pulled out, you know, my crystal books and I pulled out my books on, you know, different charms and things I've made using crystals for banishment protection and other things. And I put a list together and these are going to be, um, I'm using these little bags here. These are the little bags that I'm going to use and fill. And I'm going to put one in each corner, outer corner of my shop. So, so the crystals that I'm going to be using are, I'm going to be using, um, this one is black tourmaline. And it absorbs negative energy and transmutes it into positive energy. And then I'm going to be using obsidian, which wards against ill will ill intentions, envy, and jealousy. And it redirects it back to the sender. I'm going to be using selenite, which purifies incoming energies. I'm using amethyst for, amethyst for emotional and psychological protection and support, clarity of mind. I am using clear quartz to clear energies, amplifies, and harmonize all these crystal energies. Then I'm using green avengerine to protect against business or job envy and jealousy. Isn't that sad? And then I'm going to use black onyx. No, I decided to use black kyanite instead. I'm using black kyanite. No, wait, gold chain. I'm using gold chain obsidian. Um, I'm using gold chain obsidian to ground and absorb any bad will or entities. And reflects. And reflects back. Let's see. Yeah. That's my smoky quartz. There's my obsidian. Okay. So, then I'm using... Um, Pyrite. So I'm using pyrite because it reveals falsehoods. I really like that about pyrite. And then I'm using carnelian. I'm using carnelian because it reveals the feelings and the effects. It relieves the feelings and the effects of jealousy or envy. And as well as so does rose quartz. And rose quartz releases feelings and the effects as well of jealousy and envy and replaces them with love. And then I am using the smoky quartz. 
it wards off evil protects and it grounds and i'm using citrine because any crystals placed with citrine um can go long periods of times without ever having to be recharged and they remain strong um some people say if you use citrine you never have to charge those crystals again I would like to go six months before I would have to pull these out and recharge them. Now, some things that I may add are coffin nails, just to nail down the protection and anything that tries to enter through my wards. And shark's teeth to just protect, you know, the shop and the defense manner. And then I wrote a little spell here that I'll use. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got the cauldron burning. What I'm going to do is I've got four plates here. And these four plates, I'm going to put a few of each one of these crystals in instead of taking all these crystals and one by one, adding them to the bag. And then I will charge each plate that has the crystals on them. And I can't say the number for each is going to be exact. But I do want to build a good ward. So I'm going to take these out. I'm going to remove these items in case I do decide to use them. And then I am going to replace the crystals I'm not using or the ones I have used back in there. So now that was the rose quartz. And it releases the feelings and the effects of jealousy and replaces it with feelings of love and forgiveness. And I hold no ill will. And I hope it's not other shop managers that's holding ill will towards me. Because I honestly do believe there is enough for everybody. So then I just add the carnelian. And that releases the feelings and effects of envy and jealousy as well. And now I'm adding the smoky quartz which wards off evil. It protects and it grounds. And then the pyrite again reveals falsehoods and you know so if it's like someone a, sh a wolf in sheep clothing the pyrite is going to let me be able to detect that and I've got the green avengerine which protects against business or job envy might be one in here it's a little bit too big to come through well there it is ah, there it goes I think I might move since these are so big there we go and then I'm going to add the black kyanite um, which wards against ill will ill intentions envy jealousy and redirects the that energy back to the sender And I do use crystal chips, but I use a few of them. You know, I don't want the bag too heavy from um, heavier crystals. Okay, now amethyst is for emotional and psychological support and protection and clarity. So, no rash decision making. Maybe in a Capricorn. I think I might need the whole bottle of that alone. And then I'm add, um, adding the selenite, which purifies incoming energy. That is amazing. I just love selenite. There we go. Okay. Then we have gold sheen obsidian. Um, and this grounds and absorbs any bad will and entities I probably can use a little bit of that that's for sure okay black tourmaline we all know what black tourmaline does it's a great protection stone it's a great grounding stone but it also absorbs all negative energy coming in and transmutes it back into positive energy this is another one of the wonderful stones 
for self-care and protection. Then clear quartz. Clear quartz is known also known as master healer, but it harmonizes and amplifies all these crystals to work together. And it also clears energy, just like the selenite does. So the selenite and the clear quartz can work hand in hand on this. Isn't that a beautiful array of crystals together? And then the last one is citrine. It is said with citrine that if you add citrine, okay, you add citrine to any um, crystals, it keeps them charged for long periods of time. Some people say you never have to recharge them. But I think crystals can become heavy. It needs to be cleared of stale, stagnant energy and recharged and intensified. So, But I believe this allows me to hold it longer. Okay, so here are, here are the four, um, my four plates of crystals. And like I said, that is really a beautiful array of crystals. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and drop in the four sharks too, one into each, just to for defend and to protect. And I think I'm going to drop it. Now this is a hand forged. All of these are reclaimed, hand forged um, coffin nails. They came out of a barn that was built in the early 1800s. So I've added all those. Get my smoke going here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump the whole content into each one of these little bags. And then I'll hold the bag up over and allow it to engulf. And then I can enchant them. So here's the first one. And that's, I'm just going to take a thumbtack and hang it low down into the corner on the wall. That way the energies can come up. I don't know if that's called a trapezoid or exactly what it's called, but it's going to come up. And yeah, just build that, those walls of protection around my shop. Here's the second one. And the third. Than the last but it's always a good thing to grid your house and mostly putting a black tourmaline in the clear quartz you know putting that tourmaline in tourmaline into the corner it's like um okay so like you have a tourmaline and you're going to put it into the corner it can be a tumbled and then you take a point and you point it out towards the center of the room normally this will absorb any negative energy that comes in into the tourmaline then the tourmaline is going to transmute it back to positive. So you've got this recycling effect. And normally this is enough. Well, this is what I do already have in the shop. But apparently this young lady who has come to me on several occasions. And I do, you know, I do trust her opinion. You know, and she's just given me this beautiful heads up. And I think I would be wrong not to act upon that. You know, when someone's going to be kind to take you into consideration and bring these things to you, you should at least acknowledge them. So I'm going to take all four and I'm going to hold it over the smoke and I'm going to repeat this spell. I program and charge these crystals and charms to protect and ward my shop and business against ill will, jealousy and envy, and against all evil and negativity negative energies and entities may only love and light and good cheer enter here this is my will so motive be so now i'm going to hold them i'm going to repeat this i'm going to push this energy into these crystals to program them i program charge these crystals and charms to protect and ward my shop and business against ill will jealousy and envy and against all evil and negative energies and entities may only love light and good cheer enter here this is my will so mote it be now i'm going to charge them i want to put a little 
little bit more fresh herbs and resins. And I'm just going to hold these here. I think I want to hold them. And I just feel I want to enchant them one more time as I collect all this lovely goodness here. So here we go. One more time. I program and charge these crystals and charms to protect and ward my shop and business against ill will, jealousy, and envy, and against evil and negative energies and entities. May only love and light and good cheer enter here. This is my will, so mode it be. Third time's the charm, absolutely. But yes, I've heard it said, I've never experienced it myself, but I have talked with others, especially my mentor, about how someone can hold so much hate and dislike, basically it's because they're unsatisfied and hate their own life, that they can send this multitude of ill will and negative thoughts and feelings towards you and it can form into an entity against you. Isn't that sad? And who would be that way? Who would want to do those things? I'm sure we've all felt envy and jealousy towards something or someone at some time. And that's okay, but you can't let it consume you and turn into resentment and hate. There is enough for everybody. Here we go. All right, so. I am very, very proud of these, and like I said, they are going to hang close to the floor in the four corners of my shop. I'm going to stick a little pin in the wall and just let them hang there and let the energy come up and form that uh, trapezoid, I guess, four-sided pyramid. I don't know the correct name for it. But that's what I'm going to do, and I think these would just be fabulous. And look at this beautiful, beautiful smoke. I just cannot charge these enough. I just cannot let these absorb all that goodness there, all that beautiful goodness. Just let them engulf. Throw them in that air. So there we go. Let me go back over. I'm going to hold these here one more time. I just, just love this. What do I have here? I picked up my little altar guard, which is a um, little gargoyle statue. I just love him to death. His name is, his name is Jameis. Here we go. <coughs> so I use black tourmaline to absorb negative energy and transmute into positive I use black canine, which wards against evil, ill will, ill intentions, envy, and jealousy, and redirects that energy back to the sender. Selenite purifies incoming energy. Amethyst is for emotional and psychological protection and mental clarity. Clear quartz clears energies, amplifies, and harmonizes all crystal energy. Green adventure protects against business or job envy. Black onyx grounds and absorbs any bad will or entities. I'm sorry, I use gold sheen um, obsidian in place of the black onyx. Pyrite reveals falsehoods. Carnelian releases the feelings and effects of envy or jealousy. Rose quartz does the same but replaces those feelings with love. Smoky quartz wards off evil and protects and grounds. Uh, citrine keeps the crystals charged and going strong. And then I added charms of carfinale and shark's tooth. And then my little charm, which is... I program and charge these crystals and charms to protect and ward my shop and business against ill will, jealousy, envy, and against all evil and negative entities in and energies may only love and light and good cheer enter here. This is my will so mode be. So there you go. I have now created.
created and charged the four bags that are going to go into each of the corners of of my um, shop. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. So, in the bowl, I had herbs for banishment and herbs for protection. So, I banish away any negativity that is sent my way. And may it be returned to the sender. So, I banish. I am sending this out and I am sending this away. Sending away. Sending out. Dorsal. Sending away. Where they're shedding. Sending in. Okay. So, I'm bringing in protection and I'm sending out banishment. Bringing in protection, sending out banishment. There we go. I do find it a little bit upsetting and unsettling that. People whom you see and speak to in the flea market every day that someone could actually be capable of such negativity or would wish to do it. But then again, when it comes to protecting what we feel is being threatened, the things that belong to us, our home, our loved one, our property, we will do as which is what we feel we need to do to protect and to banish that. And I hope whoever feels I am a threat comes to realize I am not a threat. Because I honestly do believe there is enough for everybody. So please like my channel, leave a comment, subscribe, share if you will. Um, stay forever magical and blessed be.